the advantage also, <coughs> or disadvantage rather, of any stuck appliance, especially if it goes on the midline, or it goes, even if it has a lateral tad, uh, it's, you can't predict where the bone is. Uh, and if you're putting an MF FME, even if you have some side tads, um, uh, unless it, unless you looked at the, um, at the cone beam and you know exactly where the bone is, like you do it with a custom RP, uh, with, with the FME, if, if you don't have that customization, if you have a paper thin pallet, if you could put 10 tads along the midline, right. they just, they will just drag. So you're saying some patients just have thin bone along the midline, mm, even though generally thin. the bone is thinnest, uh, thickest at the midline. Generally, is that true? At the very midline, yes, but overall in pallet, no. <laughs> so if you, if you look at the pallet, the, the biggest bulk of bone uh, is, is, a, is mostly in the front and, and in the back, it's just paper thin very often. So, and, right. and as if, if it, a lot of times, uh, you know, I, I can show you some cases where, especially in the early MSCs, where we put the tads and, you know, four, even six, and they, nothing tipped, but all six just dragged through the bone. Like literally just, just stays, you know, we started this way, we started this way, we got no expansion, but the appliance, the bone was so thin, it's just dragged through the bone. And you do that, it happens with the tads too. Like if you use ta uh, conventional tads for other anchors, it would just drag through the bone if it's too thin. Okay. Because of course, FME does have customization, but my understanding is that that customization is limited to the midline. Yeah. So they, you know, you do submit uh, a terror scan as well as a CBCT, you mm -hmm. send it to their lab and then they place TADs accordingly mm -hmm. based on what's best, but presumably they're limited as to where exactly they're putting them because the appliance to some degree is an off the shelf item. Right. Uh, it's like a modified off the shelf item, but not totally customized the way that the custom Marpy is. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would, I would understand that limitation. I'm sure if, 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 if anything that's, you know, you take something that's off the shelf and you have limited uh, ability to customize it uh, to exactly where the bone is, then some things are doomed to fail. Uh, that's why, and, and I'm sure it will probably, especially if, if the patients are fairly young, you know, and I mean, maybe like uh, either prior to 20 or early 20s or females, maybe even 30, uh, this will probably work just, just great, just fine. And, uh, but, I, I don't want to take a chance. For me personally, if I use it on my patients, I'm not going to take a chance. Do you think even in the era of the prop popularization of the piezo surgical assist, that still the midline anchorage is often not enough? I've seen this on more than one occasion. Yeah. Even with the custom R piece. Uh, kid, 22, 23 years old, custom R P. Uh, very often, just the midline, uh, not 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 no um, no lateral tads, and and patient had the piezo, and it did not split. 